How did Kenya become relatively successful, stable, and more democratic compared to Uganda and Tanzania? I think the whole socialism versus capitalism thing that Keon posits is a lot more complicated. Though I'd say he's right about Uganda, Kenya and Tanzania are virtually the same to some extent. Kenya was a lot more economically stable than Tanzania after independence, but democratic. No. Post-independence Kenyans transitioned into a new elite, we were essentially ruled by two dictators throughout the 20th century after independence, we did not go through the arduous process of decolonization and forging a new identity like Tanzania did. Tanzania's decision to properly decolonize, which makes your previous colonial power diplomatically and economically frosty, made our shared colonial power a lot more likely to trade and loan money to Kenya, not to mention, Tanzania bet on the wrong horse in the Cold War, which meant we were getting a lot more Western support. Support which dried up after the economic turbulence, and collapse in some cases, that Western countries went through in the 80s. This pushed us into political turmoil with the attempted coup and the collapse of the Kanu regime in the early 90s when we started multi-party politics. All this is expected given how bereft of ideas dictatorships usually are, it got to a point where the Kenyan government had to privatize and sell a large number of state organizations and even services to some extent, like the privatization of public transport, just to keep the economy afloat. Tanzania's shift to multi-party politics happened only three years after ours. And at the moment we're more or less approaching economic equality. The only thing that brought about the initial difference economically was the Cold War and Tanzania betting on the wrong horse. In terms of political stability, we both have rocky elections with a healthy microbes of state violence every five years and are staring down the barrel of the old elite from the 70s and 80s regaining power.